Hello again viewers and greetings fellow space travelers. This is Thorn of Night and welcome to my Sirius M HD Second Encounter Let's Play in Secret Walkthrough. Uh, in this episode, I'm going to be covering the third and final level of the Legend of the Beast uh, download content for the second encounter. Uh, this level is called the Grand Obelisk, and there are four secrets to deal with. And hopefully, you've still got some rockets from the uh, previous level, because you are going to need them to save time on one of these secrets. But before we can get to it, let's clear things out in here. Are you tired? Take a nap. Okay, head off to the left. There's gonna be bad guys spawning everywhere. I think picking that stuff up spawns even more, so I'm not going to do it right now. What you need to do... Open this door, come in... And go through the door immediately. You'll just backpedal. It will trigger some loot to spawn right on the other side of the door. All right. That's very helpful to have early on. Ow, leave me alone. All right. Ah. <sighs> Is that all the balls? Nope. And another one. And then another major mech. All right, head down this way. And shoot with your rocket that platform to activate the next secret. Me, Just passing. If you don't have a rocket, don't worry. You'll be getting some soon enough. For the next secret, as quick as you can, head up, hop up on top of one of these lamps and get up here. Everything is going to start spawning around you. For the most part, they won't hit you. While you are up here, come back to the front. Ow. And flip this lever on the front of the uh, Sphinx. That triggers the next secret. And what the secret is, is directly underneath you, there's now a room that has opened up and seems to be accumulating everything. Ah. 
a bunch of kamikazes out there. But our objective is to go in through this doorway, so I'm just going to go ahead and go for it. I've got all kinds of health from ammo and armor, so why not? I'm just going to head in. Save time. You'll find a bunch of blue mechs. Try to ignore them and head up to the right as you come in as far as you can. And come over behind this lamp and there's a lever. Hit the lever. A platform will come down. Taking you up to a secret room. Lots of armor, lots of ammo, lots of everything. Head past the room. Grab this statue and some armor and other various things if you need it. And you will also find, for your smiting pleasure, a rocket launcher. lot of things to use it on. Alright. might be some mopping up for you to do out here. But now that you've got a rocket launcher and plenty of rockets here, that shouldn't be a big deal. When you come down this way, clears are going to spawn all over the place. I'm going to try to ignore them if I can. Which it doesn't seem like I can. Let's see if I can go through the door. I can go through the door, so I will. Alright. And it would seem like a huge waste to not use these rockets you just got on something. So practice firing at things. Alright. Head on out. Find that you've got some new friends. We are back in front of the obelisk where we were before. Uh, try to keep 
Kill what you can. And come inside. Yes, you can linger around out there and kill more stuff, but I'm trying to save some time here. Huh. It's a bit of a pain. Now, this door won't open immediately. You have to deal with the... Uh... Warming... The, the housewarming committee or whatever this is. Welcoming committee, that's the term. door does open after the wave of clears comes through, so go ahead and head on out. And ignore the marching sounds you hear, because those are from the room where you got the rocket launcher. Speaking of rocket launcher, I have no ammo. But that's alright. There's a bunch of stuff marching around that I have skipped on purpose. All right, no more ammo up here. I'm going to just double check. Good, I've gotten them all. Jump in the hole. And immediately come off to your left into an alcove and activate one of these scarab things. There is a canoe or noom, or however it's pronounced, that is very eager to be your best friend. And what you need to do is go toggle four of these scarabs, one each in four different alcoves. And then shoot a target up there. And then lure him into the middle. Ish. And shoot the next target immediately across from it. After you do, it will deal some serious damage to him using that lightning bolt thing. And you'll have to do it a few times. He shoots these fireballs at you, they hurt, and he does stomp on you. That hurts too. He is completely capable of breaking down all of these columns, so hiding behind them is a bad idea. It's single use cover is what it is. Ow. Come on, come back to the middle. I missed, that's horrible. And he was right behind me, running, running. Do I have them all? No, I don't. Woo! That was close. Oh boy. Basically, you need him to stand right there. Come on, you can do it. Ugh. 
All right, one more should do it. Oh boy, I saw his foot. Ooh, I stopped just in time. Thank you, Colm, for being in the way. Oh boy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Ha! Ah. Huh, that was weird. I was able to interact with the cutscene. Interesting. That's a weird glitch, but that is it for the level and also the downloadable content part of the game. Uh, four secrets. There are 14 secrets total in The Legend of the Beast. And, uh... That is it for this episode. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, do leave those in the comment section below and I will do my best to get back to you. Uh, if you like this video, do give it a like. I appreciate it. And also go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. That way you know when my next stuff comes out. But that's going to do it for this episode. So thank you once again for watching. This is Thorn of Night and I will talk to you later.